So jumping back out to the home screen here, uh, in a dedicated SMS and MMS inbox folder. The help menu. The help, if you've never used help on a BlackBerry, if you're a new BlackBerry user, the help on the BlackBerry is actually a very good help program. Um, it pretty much will walk you through exactly what you want to know. You say the phone. Well, what do you want to know about the phone? I want to know about my call logs. Okay, what do you want to know about your call logs? So that is the help. The search, again, the standard search, just as on every other BlackBerry device. Uh, however, you do have the ability now to search your BlackBerry Messenger. Music, this music icon is the exact same thing as going into the media icon and then clicking on your music. It'll get you to the exact same list. This is nice um, if you're planning on using your BlackBerry as an MP3 player. You, it's just one less click that you have to go through in order to get to your, to your songs. Coming down here, your instant messaging folder. Um, when you go into your instant messaging folder, by default, you're going to have BlackBerry Messenger in there. You do have the ability, obviously, to download like your AOL, uh, your RIM clients for your AOL Instant Messenger, your Yahoo Instant Messenger. And something else that I want to show here is this instant messaging is actually a folder. So BlackBerry Messenger is in this folder. Now, if you want to move it out to the home screen or if you want to delete this folder altogether, from the home screen, if you just hit the menu key and tell it to delete, it deleted that folder and now it brought BlackBerry Messenger out to the home screen. So your games also are in a folder. I'm not exactly sure where they are right now. Uh, your games are in a folder. Also any downloads that you do, any third party applications such as Google Maps or, or um, we'll say Pocket Express, those will automatically go into the downloads folder. So when you get this BlackBerry and you start customizing it out with the applications you want to customize it out with, um, and after you download it, you're wondering where it is, it's going to be in your downloads folder. And actually, there's the games folder right there. Uh, the games, those of you who are diehard Brick Breaker fans, you can see Brick Breaker is still here. It's not going anywhere. But they have also added Word Mole, Texas Hold'em, and Klondike. Uh, we all know what Texas Hold'em is. We all know what Brick Breaker is. Haven't gotten into play with Word Mole or Klondike yet, and really am not going to cover that in this overview. Just wanted to show you that those are in there. Again, there's your downloads folder. Uh, your setup, your setup folder, once you go in there, this is where you have your setup wizard. You can set up your Wi Fi, your email settings, which will get you out uh, onto the Biz client from your BlackBerry handheld and the ability to set up your Bluetooth. Profiles, again, when you click on profiles, this is just the normal profiles. Your turn power off, lock your keypad. Options, manage connections. Go in here and you can turn your Bluetooth off or turn your Wi-Fi on or off. Your memo pad, tasks, calculator. You'll notice here we've got Word to go, Slideshow to go, and Sheet to go. This is the ability to download or put uh, Word or PowerPoint presentations or Excel spreadsheets on your BlackBerry and have the ability to edit those from the handheld itself and then turn around and attach it to an email so that you can send it out directly attached to an email from your handheld. You don't have to go into the office to do that. The video camera, go into the video camera really quick. There really isn't anything different here than the camera itself. Um, when you go into the video camera, just press, if you, when you want to start recording, press down on the trackball. It will begin recording. Press on the trackball again, and now it's paused. You have the ability now, you can continue recording, you can stop and save this file. You could play this file, um, you can email it, or you can delete it. Voice notes recorder, you do have the ability if you wanted to record a voice note, just click on that. Again, just like the video camera, it's going to be paused when you first go into it. To record a voice note, just press down on the trackball, you'll see it's recording. It's going to show you how long it is over here. Now it's paused, and you do have the ability also, if you want to take that voice note and send it to someone, you can instantly send it from the voice recording application. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that really fast. Voice dialing, those of you that use voice dialing will be happy to see that the voice dialing is on the BlackBerry here. Password Keeper, uh, for those of you who aren't aware what Password Keeper is, pretty much it's just an application that gives you the ability to put all of your passwords under one master password. Your saved messages and then BlackBerry Messenger. 
I want to jump into BlackBerry Messenger really fast. For those of you who aren't aware of what BlackBerry Messenger is, BlackBerry Messenger is an instant messaging application that is only available on BlackBerry devices. So this is this means that you cannot use BlackBerry Messenger to speak with somebody who has a trio. It's not text messaging. It runs off of the RIM data network and it's again it's pretty much it's instant communication with somebody who who you may have on your application list. So I'm just going to give a little sample here. One thing that I do like about this is now, just as with the bold, it's showing the sent time on it. Uh, so it's showing what time it's being sent out. Once this check mark comes, it's going to say that it was completely delivered to the other end of the device. And actually, it was already delivered here. And then when messages come in, apparently we're not getting too good of a signal in this building. Um, we'll give it one second, though, and come back into here. Now, there, this is another option that, that's new on the 4.6 operating system, and it's the ability to send your location. So this works out really well. If you're out and about and you're out in the field, or maybe it's a weekend and, and you found this really cool restaurant, a really cool bar that you're at, and you want to send it to your friends, but you're not exactly sure where you're at, you can tell it to send my location, and it's going to retrieve your current location off of the GPS that's built onto the device and then send it to them so that they're going to have the ability... Uh, to just click on that and then either open it through Google Maps or their BlackBerry Maps and find out exactly where you're at so that they can get to you fairly easy. Uh, again, you still have the ability to ping the contact. You can forward the BlackBerry contact, send them a voice note or send them a file directly through BlackBerry Messenger. Um, you can invite them into a conference. Again, all these are pretty much standard here. In the BlackBerry Messenger, when you go in here and if you want to, to uh, first off, set your status, the cool thing about the status is now is that there are some pre uh, preloaded options in there, so you can just instantly click. I'm out of the office. I'm unavailable. Down under the BlackBerry Messenger options, also uh, again, these are pretty standard as the rest of them that are in there uh, as the current BlackBerry devices. There is an allow on the phone presence status, so this would be if you want to go in there and if you want your BlackBerry Messenger, if somebody is getting ready to send you a message or when they look at their BlackBerry Messenger list, if you're on the phone, um, you, can just, you can change this to yes and it will actually tell them on the other end that you are on the phone. And then the same thing with the allow now playing presence status, that's if you're listening to music on the BlackBerry. Um, it will actually show the artist's name and the song that you're listening to. So this could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing uh, if you want your friends to know. If you're using your device mainly for work or you're supposed to be using your device mainly for work and you're listening to music on it, you probably want to make sure that this is set to no. You don't want them to uh, know that you're actually on there. Okay, so heading back out to the home screen, go ahead and um, I'm going to jump into the media really quick. And there's the BlackBerry Messenger that just came through. And again, this is going to show right up here. On the older BlackBerry devices, you may have had to, you would have to go up. If somebody sent you a message and let's say you're away from the BlackBerry, you didn't see it. And uh, finally, you realized that you had a BlackBerry Messenger and you wanted to go back in and see what time it was sent, you'd have to scroll up to that to see when it was sent. However, it's actually going to show you right at the top of the screen now what time that message came in. And jumping out to the media really quick, I'm going to jump into the music and just give you an idea of how well this works. Try to find the song that would not offend someone. Okay. Hopefully you can hear this. Hopefully you can hear that on the video. This does have a very good, very good uh, sound quality when it comes to the, the speaker, just like the other curves. Um, one of the big issues with the 88 series devices was the fact that the, the speaker was a little bit hard to hear because you didn't have these ports at the top and the, the speaker was kind of hidden underneath in the device. Uh, you're not going to have that issue. So if you're listening to music and you want to put it um, through your speakerphone or when you're on a speakerphone call or you're using your direct connect, you don't have to worry because you the volume is really good on this thing. And again, you can go in and you can set up your playlist. You can create playlists directly from the handheld itself. If you want to sample, uh, just sample your songs or shuffle through the songs. 
uh, go through your different genres and whatnot. Another thing that you can do is um, those of you who are using iTunes, the BlackBerry Media Sync application, obviously this will work with the BlackBerry Media Sync application. So you can set that up on your computer just to sync over certain playlists or, or sync over certain songs or genres the way that you want to have it set up.